Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Um, in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, so please be mindful of that. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed just below the video. Okay, um, the Knight of Pentacles, this is your energy. Um, and this is an energy of, I feel like it's an energy that's asking you to focus on yourself and um, focus on goals and projects that excite you, even if they may take some time. Like the time is going to pass anyways. Uh, so if you want to invest in something, get started with something, um, it's not selfish of you to focus on things that you know on skills that you want to learn or new hob new hobbies that you might want to try out um i think it's a card of like i think the card is asking for you to put yourself first um and just you know things take time so don't be put off by how long learning this hobby or skill is going to take time um things take time so follow anything that excites you anything that you know really speaks to you i feel like you're maybe fighting against the urge to play small and hide your hide like your passions your talents your skills I honestly feel like over the next couple of weeks or months, you're really owning your power and you're really stepping into your own power, like stepping into a more authentic version of yourself. And to me, it feels like, especially with the chariot's energy, you're taking up space. Um, you're taking up space. People are noticing you. I feel like your confidence is also growing. And I think that there's um, quite an open minded and a curious energy um, I feel like some of you might even be, you might be pursuing something new. So a new hobby, maybe a new relationship, maybe a new career path. Um, so yeah, try and fight off that urge to stay small and, you know, hide, hide behind your talents. I feel like you're ready to ditch old versions of yourself or you're ready to ditch some bad habits um, or even you know you're ready to leave behind like cut out toxic people from your life um, and just also ignore what other people say or expect of you I think you're really like to me it feels like you're really sinking deep into this energy of authenticity and I think that you're really stepping into this energy and you're really wanting to express yourself right making plans for yourself committing to starting a new hobby or a new ID that you've been um, wanting to work on. I feel like you're really getting inspiration to take some sort of leap of faith towards an ID or towards um, plans that you might have. Just investing in yourself, investing in yourself and in uh, ideas um, that you have in your goals and your plans. There is some sort of tension that I feel like is popping up in relationships. These could be romantic relationships, friendships. These could be sibling uh, relationships. And I feel like there's a need for you to stand up for yourself. Sometimes standing up for yourself isn't always comfortable. Um, but I do think that there is some sort of moment to really advocate what it is that you want. Your needs or your opinion here. Um, especially if whoever these people are are close relationships to uh, to you. I mean, you know. And especially if you're someone who's been putting others first, I think it's time for you to stand up for yourself and what it is that you want. 
I feel like there's some sort of, sort of serious discussion or serious conversation that you're going to be having um, with someone. It could be about your future with this person. It could be like about the future that you have with this person. Um, it could it could be some sort of like important news comes your way or you receive some sort of important project. I think this communication is going to um, affect you on a very personal level. So something someone says is going to be maybe it's going to be shocking maybe it's going to take you aback maybe it's not something that you're going to um that you've expected um it could be some sort of yeah important news or important information that arrives that leave that affects you on a very personal level um it could also like it could be positive though okay don't think it's you know it doesn't necessarily always have to be something very shocking you could get a promotion or a new job um something he might pay off i feel like it, it could you know be good news good news or good information anyone that comes in and out of your life around this time they're fated to do so so let them um as one relationship ends another begins but it's hard for another t relationship to begin when you're still fixated and you're still focused on the one that has ended so if you're wrapping up relationships contracts situations around this time um let let it whatever unfolds unfolds for a reason don't try and stay don't try and cling to the past and try and cling into onto a relationship or into anything that has expired or that you've outgrew um i really feel like there's this is a time for you to let go of something especially if you're struggling through feelings of like obsessive feelings of um of something that didn't work out obsessive feelings of something that you said um it's important for you to work through it um you could be spending a little bit of time on your own and i think that's because you might be wanting to work and process these feelings but i do feel like i do think that there's going to be a time where you're going to be feeling very withdrawn or very self-contained um And it could be a good time to have an important conversation with yourself and you know something he might be getting you down or something he may be feeling a little stuck in your energy um and i think it's honestly a sign for you to try and move on from whatever this is because when one relationship ends another one lies in wait but it's hard for the new one to begin when you're still reliving the past i did mention i feel like you're cutting any you're cutting like out any toxicities or any addictions like bad habits or even toxic people out of your life or just toxic situations i feel like you're really focusing on your uh like mental health and on your um on just improving yourself and just connecting and stepping into this energy of authenticity i do think that that you're also setting up more boundaries and i think you're a little bit more in the past i think that you would let more people in and i think you would put more uh, a lot like you would you would put people first right you would put others first in front of you i think you're you're finally learning to put up those boundaries and call out anyone who disrespects those boundaries and i think you're finally also learning to put yourself first i do think that there is someone here around you who i just think this person is a walking red flag or I feel like this person is going to confirm suspicions. They, they're going to do or say something that I feel like is going to confirm the suspicions you had around this person. Like maybe you always thought that they could, couldn't be trusted and then you find out this person is, you know, telling lies or spreading rumors or, you know, gossip. Um, so someone actually ends up confirming your suspicions that you had about them. Remember, energy doesn't lie. It does not lie. There is also this moment of clarity where I feel like something that felt very confusing and something that you couldn't quite understand or work through suddenly makes sense. Suddenly you understand why someone said what they said or why they did what they did or perhaps, you know, you finally understand your actions or your reaction to something. So there's some sort of moment of clarity um a truth that is being revealed or a truth that you connect connect to 
I also feel like it's, you know, echoing on from the energy of you stepping into this authentic, like this really, you who really plunging into this energy of authenticity, right? In doing so, there you connect with truths, inner truths and inner knowings. And there's something here that I feel like you're connecting with, and it's a truth, something that you find out, some sort of truth or some sort of information that you discover is going to give you a lot of clarity on a situation and is finally going to make sense. You're going to finally make sense of what someone said or what someone did or, you know, perhaps it's you. Um, I also feel like you're leaving behind, you're cutting ties with certain people. And it's funny because I feel like some of these people have, they're not, they're your friends, but they're not really your friends. Um, they're more like, maybe they're more like people you've kept around because you felt lonely. Um, but I think that you finally realize, you know, who your true friends are and you're going to be doing some decluttering. Okay, so you're going to be cutting out some people from out of your life purely because maybe you outgrew these people. Maybe you no longer have anything in common with them. Um, and, you know, you're just, you've gone two separate ways. Um, so, yeah, there's this energy of you cutting ties and you're happy to do so because I think you recognize that this person is no longer right for you. It could be an ex. You potentially could be walking away from a relationship, a marriage or a partnership. That's not to say it's going to be easy or that's not to say that you're not going to struggle with this and it's not going to be emotional. It is. But I think deep down inside, you know that it's over. You know that, you know, you outgrew this person or you no longer feel the same way you did about this person. And you know it's probably in your best interest and theirs to just move on. And it's, I think it's been a long time coming, but I think you're finally um, just, you're finally in this energy where you recognize what's good for you and what you need to do to move forward. It's that mental clarity that is going to um, overcome you. So with this mental clarity, I think you're going to make the decision to go separate ways with someone or remove someone from your life because you just don't feel like they have a role to play. I did mention earlier that there is some sort of news that arrives to you. It's, I feel like it's recognition or it's good news or it's some sort of information that you have been anticipating. And I feel like it finally arrives. Uh, just going back to the Knight of Pentacles energy, just remember, because I feel like um, with this energy, there's something you're waiting for. Um, so remember that good things take time great things take even longer so don't pu like don't put something off just because you're worried about how long it's going to take to get to get this thing started or to get this thing finished um like invest in whatever it is that brings your heart and your soul joy and don't be put off by the time that it's going to take to learn this thing or to get this thing off the road um it's a slow process but it's going to be a very enjoyable process and speaking of process the message that i want to leave you with is you know make sure you fall in love with the process whatever the process may be to you make sure you fall in love with the process because if you don't love the process you're not going to arrive at the destination that you want to arrive right make sure because it's all about that you know it's all about the journey it's all about getting there so make sure that you do fall in love with the process along the way all right and these are your messages thanks guys for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now